Hey everyone, I got a question on YouTube the other day that I thought was pretty relevant. They were asking about equipment, holsters, and mag pouches. And so I thought I'd whip out a video real quick. Totally off the cuff. Totally just my opinion. But anyway, here it goes. For IPSC, this is my IPSC rig, which I use to shoot USPSA style stuff. I have a race holster, and it's from the Universal Shooting Academy. I wanted it a match somewhere. It's no particular reason I picked it. It just kind of, it was a prize. And there's these little race holsters are supposed to make you draw faster, but you can do just as well with a Blade Tech or an Uncle Mike's. And they're pretty simple. They just hold the trigger, cover the trigger guard. This particular one has a locking mechanism right here in the back. And so with that locked down, it does not fall out of your holster. I mean, it is stuck in there. And before you start a stage, you can set that little lever up and now it will come out. If for some reason you forget to set the lever and the buzzer goes off, when you draw your gun, you can actually hit it with your finger and draw the gun at that point. The next thing on my belt are mag pouches. And the mag pouches are what holds your magazines in place, obviously. I'm using STI magazines with Dawson base pads. And this one right here is a magnet I just picked up like a year ago for Christmas. And it'll, <laughs> it sticks very well. No matter how many bullets you have in your magazine, it won't let go of it. And the cool thing about this is you can adjust it to the angle you want. And also, if you're doing a table start, a lot of some stages, let's say, uh, don't allow you to have your magazines on your belt. They'll have them on a table. So when the when the buzzer goes off, you need to pick up your gun and any mags you will need. So if you need a mag change down the low, down the line, you'll have to pick it up off the table and put it in your belt somehow. Well, the magnet really helps to get it in there. I'll show you how to put this thing on. <clears throat> this particular belt is a CR Speed. It comes with a, a Velcro inner belt and then the stiff outer belt. And the inner belt, all it is, is just Velcro, basically. And I like to get my shirt tucked in real good because the last thing you want is your shirt to get in the way. And it basically you want, instead of your normal belt having the belt buckle cross in the front, you want this to cross in the back. And I usually get it as tight as possible that you can actually bear it. Because once you load your magazine pouches up with full ammo, it's going to pull down on your belt a lot. So you want that as tight as possible. The next thing, I have all my mag pouches and holster already set in the position I like them. So all I have to do is remember to put my first mag, my first mag pouch right in the middle. And then wrap those around as tight as possible. So my, my stuff's already pre-set up. And I'll show you an idea on how to set that up for yourself. Put my mag magazines in my mag pouches. I use four mags when I go up to the line. Three is about as much as you probably will need. I like having the extra just in case because you never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> now one of the questions I got was, which ways do your bullets face? Well, they're going to face that way in the case of right-handed people as myself. And that's to facilitate your magazine change. Because when you pull your magazine out, you want to have your finger on the front of the magazine like so so that when you do your mag change when you insert that magazine it goes right in so it just slides right in as such so what you do with your mags is you angle them how you want them and if you notice mine are pretty angled in the front and as I go around to the side they're almost vertical that's because the first one I grab is going to be straight in with my line with line with my arm so you, you pull it out that way use it you go to the next one it's a little further in you you can angle it some more if you want it's all personal preference pull it out pull it out the back one pull it out if it was angled back here you you couldn't really pull it so they kind of tend to get straighter as they go around the back side and as far as your holster placement for IPSC, you can have your stuff wherever you want. You can put your pistol right here in front. I find it's difficult once you go to sit down in a chair. If your muzzle is sitting there poking you in the leg, I kind of like mine to the side. 
when it comes to belts, holsters, and mag pouches, there's tons of different manufacturers out there. I'm familiar with just a couple because that's what I have, but it all it all boils down to what works for you. And these this setup right here has worked for me pretty well. The magnet is new for me, and I've only used it maybe in two matches, so I'm a little uneducated on that yet. But um, I think the, the key points are a stiff belt for sure because like I said if you're shooting 45 like I used to do once you get eight or 18 or is it 14 14 rounds of 45 14 rounds 14 14 your, your your belt gets so heavy you tend to start leaning over and when you run everything jiggles around a whole lot more and if you're overweight that's even worse but you definitely want a stiff belt and uh, mag pouches they run about twenty five dollars last time I priced something like that twenty five bucks each twenty five I mean this can add up pretty big and these these speed holsters can run anywhere to up to a hundred dollars and over so they, they, you know this is not a, a purchase to consider lightly but if uh, if you're just starting out in Ipsic you don't need any of this stuff you can get by with the Uncle Mike setup in fact I use I use all Uncle Mike stuff when I shoot the production class with the Beretta. Um, this happens to be the STI setup. I like this particular holster because I can essentially put my limited gun in it and since there's no holster that the uh, enclosure that the whole thing goes into I can actually use an open gun as well with the same holster and these mag pouches work in my other in my open STI so I don't have to change anything I just grab my different gun, different bullets and the same belt and go. But for now, I would shoot what you got. 